Hey y'all, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to do my Christmas book haul. Alright y'all, I hope the quality of this video is pretty good. I am filming with the back camera on my cell phone versus the front facing camera which is what I've been doing this whole time on my channel and I'm trying to do something a little bit different like I said in my TBR so hopefully this doesn't cut off for storage. I think I've got everything set up right but we're gonna see. But this video is all about the books I got for Christmas. I'm so excited to be filming this. I got a lot of great books to share with you guys. Some from uh, The Hubs, my brother, uh, and some sweet friends. And so without further ado, let's get into it. I got a lot of great things I want to share with you guys, not just books, but um, some really fun bookish things as well. So first I want to share with you some of the non-bookish, non-book items, I should say. They are bookish. <laughs> and that the first thing is this Pride and Prejudice Jane Austen puzzle. It's only like 200 something pieces. I almost said pages. <laughs> 252 pieces. Okay. And it's really cute. Look at this. I hope y'all can see this. Um, but I love this so, so much. And it looks like a book. So I'm gonna put it on my shelf in the meantime until we do this. But uh, this is like one of the jigsaw library things. I've never even seen anything like this. But one is once one part of it is a um page from the book, and then the other part's the cover here. So this is a sweet gift from my friend Sky from Read for the Sky. I was so excited <laughs> to get this. <laughs> And so y'all know that I love doing puzzles and unfortunately I don't have a lot of space to do them. I get started and I never finish timing and all that stuff, but this is doable. Okay. I could easily get this done with the hubs. Okay. Uh, in one night probably, you know, after our kid goes to bed or something, maybe we put on the prime prejudice movie because it's like his favorite movie now of all time. Not of all time. What am I saying? My, my favorite movie of all time, but it is one of his favorite movies. The other day he was like, I can rewatch that. So get a hubs. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm so excited about this. I cannot wait to do that. I need to include that in a vlog, maybe for Jane Austen July, because I have several other, well not several, but I have two other Jane Austen puzzles that I would like to do, but they were a bit larger in size and I started them and I never finished them just because of the timing and everything. Anyway, so yeah, hopefully at some point I will be able to get that, get that done and show you guys. The other thing I got that I want to share with you guys is a bracelet for my friend Amy. She has an Etsy shop. I've talked about it in my book. It's a gift guide. I will link her Etsy shop down below uh, again for y'all to check out but she does these really cute uh, bracelets. I don't know if y'all can see this but um, this says books on both sides actually <laughs> and it has like a little heart on it. So super cute. I love this so so much. I'm definitely going to be wearing this quite a bit. You probably already seen it at least on one video I think. So <laughs> so got me even even so it is well with my soul. Absolutely love this. Gonna put this on my bookshelf. It has sunflowers and y'all know I love sunflowers. So super cute. And then I got this ornament from my friend Chrissy and this is a timeless faith ornament. It has the cross on it. Love this so much. Uh, and then I got this ornament that says for nothing will be impossible with God. Love this so, so much. My friend Amy got me this. Okay. We didn't put any ornaments on our tree this year just because of our little guy, but because he was taking them off the shit, off the shelves, I'm going to say off the tree. But we did get to end up getting a new Christmas tree for next year. It's got like fairy lights on it. I'm so excited. We bought it after Christmas because um, it's a lot cheaper after Christmas, right? It's like half off. So I can't wait for that next year. I can't wait to show y'all that next year. So hopefully we can put some ornaments on that one next year. All right. Then I got this from my friend Chrissy as well. And this is a 100 illustrated Bible verses. And I absolutely love this. It is just gorgeous. Let me try to like flip through a little flip through of this. If y'all can see just some of the things in this. I love this. It is beautiful. And she knows I love like hand lettering and stuff. Like I love doing that. I just haven't been able to do it as much recently. So these will be so great to just, you know, randomly pick a page and meditate on that scripture for the day at any time. So absolutely love this. I do have some other ornaments that my friends have gotten me, but they are stored away. So please forgive anything I didn't show on the ornaments, but I wanted to just share those that I had sitting right here, whatever I had sitting right here. I also have some bookmarks here. Not all who wonder are lost. And then mother, uh, amazing, loving, strong, self happy, selfless, graceful. Love this. Got these from my besties and I, I just um, I love these so, so much. Then we have got a gift from my friend Alicia at For the Love of Christian Fiction and she got me Just Don't Fall but it was St. Clair. I was so pumped when I got this because I read this book this year. It was one of my favorites. I got four stars. Really enjoyed it. My first Emma St. Clair book. I'm definitely gonna read more of her books. Uh, this was 
a hockey romance, okay? And it was a lot of fun. And it was in the Sweater Weather series. I think it's book one in the Sweater Weather series. And it's just a cute, clean rom-com. So yeah, this is definitely one that I'm so happy to have on my shelves now because it was a favorite. And it's what I'm gonna be like, hey, read this. Hey, read this. <laughs> Recommendations, okay? Thank you so much, Alicia, for sending me this. I'm so, so grateful. And then we have got a book from a mystery friend, okay? So I wasn't able to like message them properly because I didn't know who this was from. So if you sent me this, thank you so, so much. This is another one that I have read and absolutely loved in my middle grade March, uh, actually last year. Yeah, 2023. <laughs> it's so weird to say last year but um, Aggie Morton, Mystery Queen, The Body Under the Piano by Marth Jocelyn. And I love this. It was so good. It was just like this fun middle grade um, Agatha Christie style Perot um, young middle grade story mystery that I had a lot of fun with. And it just, the note just said um, from your friend. So uh, thank you so much for sending me this. Whoever sent me this, I'm so, so grateful. I did send a little email note. You know how like you can do the uh, scan here to send a thank you note. I did do that. So I hope you got that, whoever sent me this. But I just really appreciate whoever sent me this because I love this book so, so much. Then we have a gift that is book two in the Baxter series, Remember, Karen Kingsbury. And this is, uh, I'm not sorry, book one, but she said she, my friend said she really liked this, okay? And so she said, give, but you may not love book one, but get to book two, honey. So thank you so much to my friend Lauren. She's always commenting on my videos, and I really, really, really appreciate this. I absolutely cannot wait to get to the series. Everyone and everybody seems like it's talked about this. So I, I'm really excited to get to this. Thank you so much, Lauren, for this gift and everything that uh, you've been commenting over the last couple of years on my channel. I really appreciate it, girl. Then we have this, I mean, beast, okay, <laughs> of a book. And I, when I put this on my wish list, y'all, I did not realize this was like a tome. I, it's three books in one, okay? And I've been dying to read Casey Stockton anyway because reasons, but I mean, the reason is on the cover. Do you see the cover? That's all I can say. Do you see this cover? It, it's reminiscent of Jamie and Claire, but clean, and I'm here for it. So, it's the myths of, of, what's it say? Myth. <laughs> it's the myths of Mariah. I think I'm saying that right. Trilogy. And book one is Journey to Bongary, Bongary Spring. My, my words. Book two is Through the Fairy Tree, and book three is The Enemy Across the Lock. So, this is one I am definitely want to get to next year, at least the first book. Casey Stockton has been someone on my on my radar, okay? And sh I should have put her on my, like, New Authors to Try list because I definitely want to read her books. She's got some audiobooks for free on her YouTube page. I will link that below if you want to check that out. But this is one I'm going to be checking into because Scotland, romance, clean, say less, okay? Plus this cover, okay? And this was a gift from my friend Nicole. Thank you so, so much, Nicole, for this. I just... I cannot wait <laughs> to get to this. So, so excited. So thank you so much for your support on my channel and for this sweet gift. I'm so appreciative of it and can't wait to get to it. All right, I did get a couple of devotionals and I'm so excited about this. These, <laughs> this one is Phil Wickham on our knees, 40 days to living boldly in prayer. And this is inspired by the song, The Battle Belongs uh, by uh, Phil Wickham. And so this is a special gift from my friend, Lindsay, uh, Lindsay Lemus. And I'm just so excited to get into this. I think she got it as well, along with some of our friends. So yeah, this is definitely one that I'm excited about to get to. And then I've got this one, Love the Life You Have, 100 Ways to Embrace God's Goodness. And it's, who's this by? Does it say? Illustrated by Nathalie, I don't know, that ain't who this is by though. I guess it's just a Thomas Nelson, um, Gene Fisher. <laughs> it didn't have the name on the front, what? Or the side, so we here. But this is a special gift from my friend Sky from Read for the Sky. So yeah, I cannot wait to get into this as well. Uh, I love the inside. It's got beautiful colors and illustrations and lettering. So yeah. Okay. Then we have got a couple notebooks I want to share with you guys because uh, y'all know. <laughs> and I got this from my friend um, Amy. And it says, She is clothed with dignity or with strength and dignity, and she laughs without fear of the future. Proverbs 31, 25 through 31. So y'all know I love a good notebook, and pink is my favorite color. So say less. Love this. And then I uh, do justly love mercy, walk humbly. Love this. This was a gift. I believe this is from Sky. Yeah, Sky. Me and my brain. <laughs> It was a Sky or Lindsay. Uh, y'all know, but I can't remember. Okay, I love y'all both. So, um, I'm pretty sure this was, was this Lindsay? I don't know. 
I love both of y'all so, so much. Okay, my brain, but I love y'all. All right, look, we're gonna move on because I'm feeling um, like a bad friend now because I can't remember nothing. All right, and then, um, uh, I know this one. Lindsay Lemus got me this sweet tea candy, y'all, from, um, from, uh, what you call it, Bucky's. Let me just say, this candy tastes just like sweet tea, okay? You got Bucky's, get it. I'm telling you right now. Um, so, what else? Uh, my friend Chrissy got me this really cute, uh, like, ornament that has, like, books inside, okay? So, like, this is something that's been trending. You could do, like, you could print out book covers you love and put them in here and, like, with other little things. So, this is a lot of fun. All right, editing Amanda. I forgot that my friend Amy got me. I forgot to put this in here. It's already on my shelf. Uh, she got me a Twist of Faith by Pepper Basham. I love the way this looks. And this is a um, Appalachian, I think, Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, romance. So, that's all we need to know. Uh, but I forgot to put this in here because we did a little gift exchange. And my bad, I forgot. <laughs> so, it was already on my shelf. So, yeah, I love this cover. Y'all already know Paper Basham is the favorite author of mine as well. So, editing made a here clip just to make sure I say this is another book I got. And if you've read this, let me know. Uh, I think this is one of her earlier books. And uh, I just, I love the colors on this, the mountains, everything. And I love a good book that has an Appalachian setting in it as well. So, yeah, my sweet friend Amy got me this. And she got me a shirt as well. And it's a laundry, or I'll show you, but uh, it was super cute. So, we're here. This is the patty pan. So, <laughs> my friend Lindsay Lemus got me this. And it's my new patty pan. Patty pan. Petty pen. Okay, when I am just like, what is going on? Y'all gonna see this in the wrap-up, because I have a reason to have my petty pen in the wrap-up. Uh, but, <laughs> I'll be like, what are you doing, son? What is this? <laughs> what was this character doing that was a no for me? <laughs> so, we got the petty pen, and yeah, we here, we here. So, that, I don't know. Back to video. <laughs> and so, that's everything that was sitting here. So let's get to this big old stack, okay? So, okay, are you ready for this? Are y'all ready for this? Because I don't know if I am, <laughs> okay? Oh, Sheena girl, I see you, okay? Um, There's a story with this book, Powerless, okay? Powerless, y'all like how I said that so Southern? Powerless, <laughs> powerless <laughs> by Lauren Roberts, okay? Let me just say, Everything she said in her vlog on this book, I was here for it. Immediately added the wish list, okay? And the hubs goes on there and he gets this. And <laughs> what is so funny is like, there was this tracking and it kept going to Adams, Tennessee, which was like two hours away. And it was in Nashville, back to Adams, Chapel Hill, Adams, Nashville, like six times. I called my post office. I was like, there is a, I didn't know what, I kind of knew what it was. I was like, I think I know what it is because it was gone off my wish list. I was like, somebody has bought this. Because <laughs> that's one I had just added. And it was pretty like obvious to me when I went to go add another book. That I was like, oh, that's gone. So, uh, somebody had bought this. <laughs> so, the hubs was the uh, the one who picked this out. Because he loved the cover. You know him. When you see the other ones he picked out, you're going to know that's a, that's a man who picked that out. But uh, he picked this out. And we were like, where is it? Where is it? And so, I called the, the post office and they were like, yeah, something's going on with this. This is not right. And so, because it was like two weeks gone. Like, where is this? And so, he's like, he called the Adams Post Office. They shipped it to our post office, and I got it the next day. I was like, look at the post office go. They knew me over there, too, because I called, and they were like, oh, yeah, you're that book girl, right? Yes, because <laughs> I'm always in there sending something. So, uh, he, I was like, thank you. His name is Luke. Thank you so much for helping me out. Uh, and so, anyway, Powerless. This is a YA romantic type story and it's clean i'm here for this that's all i'm gonna say so um if you ain't seen oshina's video about this i will link this below i will link that video below that you can check out because i'm reading this in february probably january's already full but like this if i'd have had this before my tbr went out i would have added it so february it's happening okay what a perfect month for february romance yes <laughs> All right, sorry, I keep moving around to make sure this is still filming. All right, <laughs> so the next book I have is The Calling by L.C. Pye, book one of the Calling series. This is a clean fantasy from what I've understood. It says, for 30 years, the people of Landor have been segregated by the five callings, living in disunity and isolation. 18-year-old Talia is choosing one of the five, wait, choosing one, <laughs> what? But for 18, 
Well, I say it, but for 18-year-old Talia Caffrey, choosing one of the five is her hope at finding a place in the society that's rejected her. When her best friend Jules is kidnapped on the eve of her calling ceremony, everything changes. She walks away from her chance at belonging, becoming a fugitive who must hide her true self. Okay. Uh, Talia's life becomes even more complicated when she encounters seven strangers who challenge everything she has ever known, making her realize that there are more secrets in her kingdom than the ones she carries. And when one hostile, one hostile what? But Oh, but attractive, <laughs> I can't read, but attractive member of the group becomes determined to uncover her secrets. She must hide more of herself to stay safe. Will she be able to find jewels? Will she be able to return home after becoming a fugitive? Will she ever find her place of belonging? So this is, this is perfect for fans of the Selection, Divergent, um, and the Remnant Chronicles. So it is a coming of age story filled with secrets, adventure, and clean, slow burn romance. Yeah, the hubs, he picked this out because I'm a wish list and obviously because of this cover is why, why he picked this out. So I'm pretty sure that the ones he bought for me, he's going to say need to be on my 24 for 2024. So this will probably have to get rid of. <laughs> okay, because you know him. He didn't want to buy no books, y'all. He's like, don't you have enough books? And I was like, no. <laughs> So, I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen, but we'll see how that goes. So, next on the list here is what my brother got me. It is A Holiday by Gaslight by Mimi Matthews. And this is a Victorian Christmas novella. This was in my Christmas book ranks. I was so excited when he got this because I've been wanting a copy. The cover is all I need. I mean, look at this. Yes, that beautiful red dress. Everything I need. And so, yeah, this is so much fun. This is like a courtship of convenience, okay? This was a really great Victorian era Christmas read. It made me want to read more of Mimi Matthews. I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it and it was clean. So I had like, I think a couple of swear words, but it was very mild, very mild that I couldn't even remember what they were. It was so mild, easily overlooked. So uh, such a great Christmas read. And I'm so glad I have it because it's like the most beautiful one. So now when I talk about it, I can hold it up. Yes. Next on my list is a middle grade that my friend Lindsay Lemus absolutely loved. My brother got me this one off my wish list and it was October October by Katya Ballin. I think it says that. And I love this cover, first of all. Yes, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a reflective, reflective off of it. Um, this says October and her dad live in the woods. They sleep in the house her dad built for them. And they know the trees and the rocks and the lake and the stars like best friends. They live in the woods and they're wild. And that's the way it is. Until the year she turns 11. That's the year October rescues a baby owl. It is the year dad falls out of the biggest tree and goes to the hospital. The year the woman who calls herself October's mother comes back. The year everything changes. So this is what I want to read in middle grade March this year. Uh, because she said it was great. It's probably a great one for October, obviously, the, the fall season, but I want to try to get to it in March. Uh, definitely one on my radar, high up on the list. So yeah, my brother got me this one. And then my brother got me one that several of my friends have read this. Okay, I know right off, um, was it Chrissy and Mrs. Thomas? Okay, Book Talks with Mrs. Thomas and Chrissy, Chrissy's Purple Library. They read this. They buddy read this, I want to say. And it's Firefly Diaries by C.C. Warrens. I think T has read this as well from Faith Books Coffee. Sorry if I'm wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure several of my friends have read this and said it's great. And she is a Christian mystery author, and it just sounds great. I, I remember when I added to my wishes, I was like, the way they talked about this, immediately, yes, I had to read it. So, I had added to my wish list, and my brother picked it off of there. And this says, uh, Noelle's world shattered that night like the pieces of headlights scattered across the dark street. There was no rebuilding her life ar around the grave of her child. No words to soothe the knowledge that she was responsible for his death. So there's some triggers there, as you can tell from that. Um, she's in her grief, and Noelle finds herself drawn to an old house as run down and weary as her spirit. She might not be able to mend her own brokenness, but she maybe she can restore this abandoned structure to its former beauty. Determined, she throws herself into a renovation project with the unexpected help of a local, but she soon learns that her new home comes with a bloodstained history and a chilling reputation. When she stumbles across a diary written by a child with a disturbing life and a teenage girl vanishes from the village, clues leave her wondering if her house might have somehow been connected. Someone or something wants her gone, but she has no intention of leaving without discovering the truth. So, 
yeah this definitely sounds like a heavy read so i'll have to be in the right headspace for this with that grief element in here but uh definitely one on my radar that i'm glad that my brother bought and then i got okay the merchant's daughter by melanie dickerson okay i got a whole stack here as you've seen in the book bookshelf tour of melanie dickerson okay and I'm unbelievably excited to dive into more of her in 2024. Uh, I may pick up The Huntress of Thornbeck Forest first or The Healer's Apprentice. Either one of those are on my list. But I think this is book two after The Healer's Apprentice. Is that right? I think it's, this looks like it goes with The Healer's Apprentice, The Fairest Beauty and the Captive Maiden. I think this is book two. Yeah, it has to be. So I'm not gonna read the synopsis because it's book two, but I'm so glad I got this because I am literally ready to dive into her books. I have a whole stack here. Let's go. I have got, I have been reading the Daircott Tales. Those are her newer books, but they say her older ones are just so, so good. And I cannot wait to dive into those. Okay. And then, did I drop something? Okay, there we go. Then I got Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshar. And I absolutely love this cover. My brother got me this one as well. Okay. And uh, I, I need to read this. This is just beautiful. And this is a one that a lot of people read recently for Katie's um, Christian Fiction Readathon that she had in October. I want to say it was October. And uh, I had didn't have it. So I didn't read it. And now I have it and I need to read it. <laughs> so 2024 is also the year I want to read more of Tessa Afshar's books. I have a lot of her books on my shelf. They are just phenomenal. Chrissy has raved about them. So many have people have raved about them and I cannot wait to dive back in. I've only read one of her books before, so I need to read more. But this is all about the story of Rahab. Say less. That's all I needed to know, okay? So yeah, definitely read that. At some point, I don't know which one I pick up. I got so many by Tessa Afshar right now, but that will get read at some point. Now, I did get this one from the hubs and that is Dream of Kings by Sharon Pink. And this is a um, Christian fantasy story that so many people have loved. Uh, and I, I cannot wait to read this, okay? So I'm pretty sure the host is also going to pick this for the 24 and 2024. We have not filmed it yet. But he, well, he done said, look, then three I bought you, you're going to have to read it. <laughs> so, yeah, we are, are on the list here. These are going to be on the list, most likely. But, um, yeah, this is published by Enclave. And I don't know anything about it. That's it. I just strictly put this on here because people said it was good and the cover looked cute and look at me and more fantasy to the list. But <laughs> this says, in the glacial nation of Norgard, Norgard? Yeah. Jolin, the dream teller, ser serves every seeker, whether peasant or high lord. Though she loves using her gift, she struggles to navigate the corrupt and dangerous court and the jealousies of the Gildegard. When an old man's nightmare imparts a dire warning, Jolin realizes her entire nation is in danger. But be before she can sound the alarm, she's betrayed by the guilds and sold into slavery in a rival kingdom far to the south. As a slave in the foreign land, at first, she can't see beyond her singular focus. Return home to warn Nor Norgan Nor Norgard of the coming calamity. After facing new dangers, making new friends, and forgiving old wrongs, she must fulfill her purpose the provider has set before her. Only then can she face a decision that could cost the man she loves her calling and her freedom, all to save a people who abandoned her. Say less. That sounds so good. I mean, and I can already see some of that Christian allegory in here. Let's go. Let's go, okay? So, I'm here for this. And that cover is gorgeous. Okay. And these last two books I have on the list, okay, are uh, Resistance by J.L. Knight and Heart of Red, Blood of Blue. Now, I had gift cards, okay? So, I bought these myself, okay? <laughs> but we're going to say it's a Christmas haul because it's a gift card that I got for Christmas. And I needed, okay, you're going to see me talk about this one soon, okay? But um, these are some of my favorite books of the year. Okay, this one on the right here, The Resistance, it is an honorable mention for my favorite books in my favorite books video. So I have not, I don't, I'm going to tell you now, this is a book I gave five star this year. I loved it. It's a great Christian fantasy, non-magical fantasy for those looking for that. And it's just one of my favorites and I cannot wait to dive into the next one in the series. But I had to pick 20 books of the year and this didn't make it. So it's honorable mention and it's still five star. It don't mean nothing less. But just so you know, my top 20 is, is coming out. 
this one didn't make it. <laughs> but we are here. I, it's definitely a favorite, okay? So I'm telling y'all now, read this, okay? This is so good. It's so big. I can't believe how big it is. I mean, it didn't feel that big when I listened to it. But yeah, so I absolutely love this, okay? And I'll leave my review for that down below if you want to read it. Uh, and then I've got Heart of Red, Blood of Blue, Rebecca Bellaston. We talked a lot about this this year. Y'all already know. One of my favorite books of the year. And uh, yeah, this it's just it's a great Christian fantasy story that had me on edge that I still think about today. That's the difference in these two. Like, I really like this one, but I still think about this. And the twist in this still makes me think about it, you know? So, I don't know. When you think about, you have to narrow down your top 20. There we go. It's hard. So, yeah. This is one of my favorites. And I'm just so glad to have it in my possession because I can see myself rereading this. It was so good. So, that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. I'm sorry if I missed anything. I know I had already talked about a couple other things that I already got for Christmas early on in the, um, in the year, in the year, I'm going to say last month. Um, oh, I forgot about this. I did get myself a new Kindle case, which y'all know. Check this out. Hey. And like you flip it around. Of course, it's what I'm reading right now. Christmas baggage. Will I finish it? I don't know. Today's New Year's Eve. <laughs> so I probably won't finish it today. But it's got like this little strap on the back. I'll link it below if you want to look at it. But yeah, you can see it right there, honey. We love to see it. Can y'all see it? <laughs> I love this. So yeah, I have been reading my Kindle more uh, this weekend after getting this case. So I got that on my gift card as well. So, yeah, I think that's everything. I know there's a couple of other things, like I said, that I had got earlier in the month, last month, that I already talked about. But these are what I've got since I even mentioned any of those other things. And uh, let me know if you've read any of these books, what you think I need to prioritize, all that good stuff. Let me know some of the books you got for Christmas. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let's chat below in the comments as usual. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, y'all.